Nowadays, everyone know how to create a bootable USB of Windows, but they are creating it wrong. Let me tell you why. Because of Microsoft release new Windows 11 update version 24S2. In this update, they are enabling the BitLocker encryption by default. Even you are doing a clean install or reinstalling Windows. And if you do not know about it, then your Windows 11 performance will be down by 45%. Let me explain a little bit about it. Then we will see how to create a bootable USB of Windows 11. So if you are following me on Twitter, I already told like BitLocker encryption for all user enable on clean install or reinstall which is impacting the ssd performance by 45 percent and i already did a video on it you can watch my previous videos there is a blog on tom's hardware they already tested about it like ssd performance is dropped down by 45 percent depending upon the workload so basically from the new update of windows 11 version 24 s2 they are enabling the bit locker encryption by default or device encryption so many people don't know about it and they create bootable usb and after that they will say my system is not performing well okay so let's see how we can create a bootable USB of Windows 11 without any kind of problems. So this is a new way to create a bootable USB. So I hope you guys are going to share this video. First thing you need the ISO file whenever Windows 11 version 24 has to release. So if you want the latest ISO, you can read this post here. After that, if you have the ISO file, you can just download the Rufus software because Rufus offers to create a bootable USB very easily and they also disabling the BitLocker while creating the bootable USB. Download the exe file. Make sure you are inserting the USB drive in your system. So I have inserted 64 GB pen drive here. You need to select the ISO file for which you are going to create a bootable USB. Here's the ISO of Windows 11 version 24S2. If you don't know what new features and how to get this update in your Windows, you can watch my previous video. Click on it. Here is one more thing about partition scheme. You need to check like which partition scheme you need to select. So how you can check it? Just press Windows plus X key or just right click on this Windows logo. Go into disk management. So in which drive you are going to install this like I'm going to install in my ssd so right click on it go into properties in volume section you can see here partition style is gpt so you need to select gpt partition scheme showing mbr so you can select here mbr after that click on start now here is the catch if you are using rufus by default it is checking like disable bit locker automatic device encryption so check this box it will by default disable this bit locker encryption if you have unsupported system you can check this box otherwise uncheck it and remove the requirement of microsoft account so you can check this box create a local account check all these boxes here click ok and this will format your pen drives click ok so after that you have bootable usb of the latest version of windows 11 now you have successfully created the bootable usb of windows 11 version 24s2 close it go into drives now you can see all the files here after that you can use this bootable usb to do a clean install of windows 11